Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Amonso. Today, I would like to talk the HKDSE sample paper, Mathematics Compulsory, Paper One, Session A One, and Question Three. Please read the following message, which is the foundation of the whole series of this video. Okay. Uh, if you don't have time, oh sorry. If if you don't have enough time, please pause this video. Otherwise, we will go to the question three. Okay, question three is asked you to factorize a polynomial. Traditionally, we use the cross method to do so. If you don't familiar with this cross method, I encourage you to ask your teachers to help you because uh, as I said before uh, factorization problem uh, changing of subject problem and the index problem would constantly and permanently appear in the first three question no matter if it's in HKDES or HKC the older version all right And for part B, as you can see, there is great um, similarity between the polynomial in A and in B. This strongly suggests that we are going to use the result of A. So if you failed to do A, don't give up on B because well, no matter what you write or uh, the result in A, you calculate. You just strictly replace it, substitute it into B, then you will gain a method mark, just like what I did in here. The first three terms replaced it by the factors. And then you will get some hints of what is going on. Now, with your observation, you may see that we have the line I'm pointing at three terms whenever this is a multiplication this is a term we have one two three and then we can see there are some similarity in here m minus n but for the second and first term they are minus n and n so what we need to do is we just need to extract the minus one in here then we will have a common factor. Extract this common factor. Then we will have the final answer. If you are not confident with uh, taking out the common factor m minus n, I have a simple factorization example here. They are just fam they are just very same, and I'm confidence that you can handle this easily and then go back to handle a little bit more complicated one. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any problem, please feel free to contact me at this email. Thank you so much. Goodbye.